Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. A bit of a refresher on what boyfriend experience means. Boyfriend experience is when a creator, whoever that may be, whether it be an Utaite, a VTuber, an actual artist, an actual uh, actor, whatever, puts on the veil of being your boyfriend. Basically, they fully, in this case, a VTuber, like uh, uh, Vox or Hex or anybody who was a VTuber for, for Nidhi Sanji, going and saying, you know, sweetheart and oh, my beloved or oh, using that type of word to say, you know, like to act like you are their girlfriend. Or boyfriend depending on your your uh what you like and they are your boyfriend and the girl side does it with the girlfriend experience acting fully like they are in a relationship with you and this includes you know like pretending to sleep together with the asmrs and other things like that so that's what that is and yes vox and luxium especially really really went deep into that that's how come they got really popular was boyfriend experience with boosted male livers popularity? If yes, at what point? By the start of the careers, did it come to play a later time? Oh, Fox and them and Luxium, they went early on with that. The ones who hit it. I'm sure uh, Mista didn't really hit that that much as far as I know, but he was still very popular. But Luxi, like Fox went really hard into it. And others and Noctix and others, they did do that. See so many people meme on BFE content, especially towards Vox and Hex. It gives impression that BFE is their main stick, and the only reason Niji males got high numbers. A lot of them, that is why they got high numbers. I'm not going to be lying to you. That is why a lot of these people ended up getting high numbers because they um, did end up hitting uh, the right thing for the Fujoshis, the females, and they hit right in the right moment when no one else was doing it, and you know they it wasn't below them to do it. Niji expansion in male VTubers at the time is experimental. As one person said, if it wasn't for Luxium success, including BFE, they're done for. Yes, that's Fumoto, the one who was in charge of the EN side. It's complicated. Uh, the, the pandemic, loneliness crisis, shift in generations. Millennials had less females in the anime culture. Gen Z a lot more. Large female undeser undeserved, underserved, and unserved overall. BFE is a part of it, just not the full thing. Think about the Holy Trinity BFE Niji males, shoujo aesthetic with long legs, rectangle torsos, and sometimes thin long arms and hands. Uh, the limbs have gotten longer and longer for some, but you might call the arms a race at this point. Um, the Fujo, Yayoi, Gay Shipping, Vox, Mr. Quill himself, Otome game archetypes like the manly gentleman, the brooding loner, the feminine, the feminine sweetheart, the goofy, funny hot boy, socially awkward. So they're using a lot of tropes, a lot of archetypes, a lot of those types of things to bring more females in and that's what they did in the beginning they may not be doing it as much now but that's where their bread and butter happened i mean i saw it myself and that is something i didn't want to get into but a lot of bigger vtubers like for example nidhi sanji they did that because it was like hey that's an untapped market let's go and tap it you know i don't think as much as other people seem to think many levers that don't do it like albin were still among the top earners exactly like i mentioned mista was also top earner as far as i know he didn't really hit that whole parasocial boyfriend experience type of thing from what i remember um but yeah he was a top one of the top earners and one of the top people in luxium period hex and vox did coomer bait content more than anything else which is free infinite money regardless of gender uh biggest factor was always Niji got a head start on bringing male corpos to ENV tubing and that's the thing they were the largest male side of ENV tubing because you had hollow stars but hollow stars was nowhere near as big as uh Luxium was when they started now not so much but they were huge back then so that's what helped them get big and yeah a lot of it did have to do with boyfriend experience in my opinion this is the fallout of what's going on with Niji Sanji they're full-on uh stock bro analysis here it says any cutter closes at 25 55 yen minus 56 cover closes at an evil 1666 yen minus 45 nikkei sees a 1.49 percent loss so it's based on nikkei nikkei losing for trading volumes any color is 954 cover saw 1.55 million any color quarter one report any color report is here for us to look at financial results it has failed to even come close to their quarter one financial forecast as they clock in at 7.4 billion yen 660 million yen short of the forecast that factored in a lower yield and we have debilitating 16.9 percent decrease allowing most avenues of revenue seeing a decrease year on year as well with exception of promotions 
Although they do claim that several hundreds of million yen were being deferred to the next quarter or a year later, uh, due to the fact that revenue has decreased, profits have also fallen, say 0.6%. And it's uh, employee office related costs was up by 40%. So they went up by costs and down by uh, profits. As a side note, there's also interesting note key initiatives that feature Seoul and EGEN. It also always features EJP and EN together. Like I said, they're abandoning EN as a unit itself. Second quarter lookout, of course, they're looking more bullish. They're trying to be uh, forecast is 10 to 15 billion yen, 54% increase. And noted that any killer hasn't even recorded 9 billion in revenue for a quarter before. So they're going way too high. Their peak quarter performance in 2024, quarter one was also before the, uh, you know, Selen and other factors pop in, in the EN branch. So financials are, according to this uh, bro here, uh, revenue is expected to be down. It certainly uh, was as well as JP branch. The revenue is going to continue going down, I think. And it's uh, they saw overall a 800 million yen decrease. Niji EN. Niji EN is effed. I, say, I said that and I'll say it again. It's effed. So, as I was saying, Niji EN is effed. Compared to even last quarter's performance, they roughly saw a 35% decrease. Compared to quarter one, it was 50%. Every single metric of revenue is down. Despite having no events quarter one last year, they lost money this time. A decrease due to AX cancellation. Put into perspective, it's worse than EN's peak in their debut year, which in 2020, 2022, quarter four was 807 million yen before Luxium and Noctix and uh, all the hype was in full effect. Other interesting part that they caught my eye is with the net assets, which saw a notable decrease from last quarter. They went from 19.7 billion to 14 billion, so they have less assets. Business overview, of course, it's just, it's, too positive, reiterating that what they, they're doing, their views on the industry, that a chart in the section, nearly half of their revenue is attributed to talents that debuted in the last two years. For the first time in the history, is likely act of desperation. They're announcing dividends, uh, distribution of dividends with 65 million yen being given for each share. Remember that dividends, they spent a lot of money on that. The dividends are the only thing that kept them their, their stock price up. And of course, to be frank, this person says, didn't I expect it to be that bad for yen? I guess you could say any color was breaking dimensions, bad jokes aside. Uh, that's all from quarter one report analysis. So according to the analysis, like I've said before, this is kind of a shortening of everything that it was done in another video. It is, um, in case the other video wasn't seen, it is just that. It is just really bad. Sum it up, Niji has been unable to find that spark, like what uh, Hollow EN has been finding. And EN has lost 50% of its profits. And the rot is slow, but it's going to happen. EN is going to be a leech for them if they don't end up, you know, merging them. I think eventually they're going to do a merge because EN is going to be a leech for them. It's all of their own doing because they screwed PR with with um, with Selen's termination. They screwed PR. I mean, I exist here because of Selen's termination. The fact that people still watch me and things like that show that Niji's PR is doing horrible. Uh, they've taken proactive measures to try to improve as a business, but it's a little too little too late in my opinion my opinion we do be liking them memes because the memes are something that i enjoy here we go word negligible is going to be haunt riku for a long time if not for the rest of his life i'm aware this might be a scene being min spirited but riku's acceptable target at this point right we effed yeah they're effed they're effed all right now especially the way en is the, it, that's how that's why you know that they gave up now continue on to the next one uh something bad happened to Niji sanji riku is in his yacht having fun nothing bad ever happens to Niji sanji 2024 rolls around and there you go. <laughs> Something bad happened in Niji Sanji. Of their own doing. They like it's like they had they had a they had a pistol. They shot at their tire, they blew their tire, and then they swerved off the road and crashed. And they were like, why'd you do this? Like, who did this? It was them. They did it themselves, little bastards. We have a little bit of Hollow Life stuff here with Abema. Hollow Goy Abema is a basically happening this week a special stage 9 14 saturday at this time at zep zep shinguku shinjuku shinjuku station shinjuku area it's going to be tomori kusunoki uh who is a uh an actual uh official looks like they're they're an artist they're a music artist tokamine rui which is louis louis chan uh omaru poka those are going to be the ones that are around and um of course these are all of their stuff it's Tomori Kusunoki. It is a, a idol, I believe, a singer. Uh, then you have Louis, who's from Hollow Life, and Polka, who's from Hollow Life as well. They're going to be doing a big situation here, big thing here. Of course, people down here are saying, I'm really looking forward to the event. I'm sure the performances by the Hollow Life members will be exciting. Can't miss Tomori Kusunoki and Rui Takamine's performances either. It's going to be a 
singing thing. It's going to be a singing performance thing. So it's going to be amazing. Polka does sings amazing. She's a nice ringleader. She's a nice circus ringleader. And she does amazing job at singing. So does Louis. And I, I do not know about the other person, but I, I assume that they're amazing as well. I'm so glad that they get to have this opportunity to work with a, uh, you know, an artist here. And being part of, of Hollow Life gives them this opportunity. I'm so very glad about that. And I am hoping that things go well. Heads up for people in Malaysia. This is going to be a short one. Uh, Yago will be attending Level Up Play events this Saturday. So it's a Level Up Play event this Saturday for everyone who is in Malaysia. And this is uh, 13th or 15th. They're going to be there. It's a part of in Malaysia's Digital Content Festival. It is its Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Uh, it says a new branch might be a huge surprise, but I don't think Malaysia it, it, is it. I don't think Malaysia is going to be it, uh, but they're going to be there. And anyone who wants to see Motowaki Tanigo can go and check it out. Hani Veywolf is a nice popular streamer. As you can see, 116k followers on Twitter. A popular streamer, popular female streamer, who is currently in a relationship. Why is this a problem? It never should be a problem. It should never be a problem. But some creepy people on the internet make it a problem for them and for anyone involved with the creator. Now, here we go. Interesting how a lot of male VTuber friends I've made in the past stopped responding or caring about me as soon as I got a boyfriend. I see where your intentions were now and in all honesty, good. You never had a chance to begin with, so stay gone. Aggressive, but necessary. Why is this necessary? Because you can't be creepy like this, my guy. Whoever you are out there, whoever you did that to her, don't be creepy like that. Be happy that someone found found a partner, found someone that is their soulmate, if, if it's the case. Be happy that they moved on. Be happy that they went and found someone IRL or even in Discord or wherever the hell they find somebody. Be happy that they found them. Don't be angry that they're not with you because you probably weren't going to have a chance in the first place, like they said there. Uh, seeing how many women went through the same experience, I'm sending you all the love and hugs. I guarantee you something like 90%, uh, if not 100% of female VTubers, idols, people that put themselves out on the internet, period. Whether you are just on Twitter, whether you are just on Discord, you're going to get hungry guys, thirsty guys coming after you. Plot twist, new boyfriend threatened all of them behind the scenes. That would be crazy. Big hugs. I've heard the story before. Um, you know, people are saying the same thing. Sometimes it's not about intention. Sometimes it's just about giving you and your guy some space. Off the top of my head, I can think of two people I'm currently talking to less because I don't want to be the third wheel. I understand uh, that about giving space out of respect, but at least communicate that. Very true. If you're going to be doing that, be like, look, I'll give you guys, especially since it's a new relationship, you can be like this. Be like this and you're less creepy. Be like, all right, I noticed you're in a new relationship. I'm going to give you guys your space because I know the honeymoon period happens in the in the beginning. Um, and I always feel and you can even be like, look, I always feel awkward being the third wheel in a lot of these things. It's just me. It's not you. I want to give you guys some space. Still want to contact you guys and, you know, chill every once in a while, but not be, you know, full as much as I was before. Communication is key always. Um, but yeah. And here it says you never had a chance to begin with. And someone down here is, um, said something that is is been hidden by the original post author the person uh honey uh, hit it just from what we can see probably because you never had female friends in your life and can't comprehend that it hurts it hurts that you went through so much with a person consider them a sibling wow someone that close consider them a sibling and in a way it cared about them and they end up just tossing you away uh and another person here you were never a friend of mine you made me uncomfortable many times and were being pushy now, this is, I'm assuming, is someone that was, you know, maybe being a little too pushy. I am someone that I just don't contact people enough. That's my issue. That's my issue here. I just don't contact people enough. I need to get better at that. And I'll admit that. But I'm never the type of person who just, I'll abandon you. A lot of times, I probably would have, I probably stopped talking to you way before you got a boyfriend, to be honest with you, on my side. Because I'm just, I'm just that type of guy who I just don't contact other people. I just ghost. Not because I want to ghost. I have hyperfixation issues with my autism. I have hyperfixation issues. I become hyperfixated on a creator or hyperfixated on something I'm doing. Like right now I'm hyperfixating on creating content, that type of thing. And then I'll forget about that I even have friends anywhere. They'll have anybody that I've been talking to, 
anyone who's a friend of mine is close to me knows that knows that it's not any any offense and the the, the scary part for me about making new friends is that there are sometimes when people assume this out of you because you know they you don't communicate and i'm not good with communication i'm horrible with communication uh but then again there are friends who do this because they wanted to be with you and there are friends who backstab you for other reasons as we know on my case i get backstabbed a lot i've gotten backstabbed in the last six months it happens as i have covered in a previous episode Amy Bisu had gotten two strikes which pretty much uh had her channel nearly removed had her channel pretty much off the the grid for a while uh because she got them in really quick succession so youtube kind of just goes no and slaps you on the wrist and uh channel update though she got the channel back up for now and the first strike was removed i'll be able to upload and stream again in six days because the first strike is seven days, second strike is two weeks, and third strike is, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's It just goes that way. Third strike is you're gone. You're gone. You're just gone. You get the red card, you're out. So she got her channel removed for a bit, and she got it back now. What does that do for her? She absolutely can't do ASMR anymore because that's the only freaking stuff that she's been able to get strikes for. Community guideline strikes, not copyright strikes. Community guideline ones, which are pretty dangerous in and of itself. Uh, it really messes you up in the algorithm, which is what's going to be happening to her. Unfortunately, the algorithm is going to screw her up. Um, the channel is back up. It said, I removed all of my ASMR. I don't know when I'll be returning to making more. I really want to, but I'm scared of the safety of my channel. Exactly. Every single time she makes ASMR, she's going to have to worry about it getting removed. Shibby Cotton Bum says, hope one day you can. Happy your channel is back, but the bittersweet when you can't do the things that you love. Oh my God, how'd she do it? Congrats, Emmy. I know it's a pain to treat with YouTube. I think Via Lure had a lot to do with her getting her channel back. I think Via Lure had a lot to do with her getting her channel back. So that's good. Her channel was gone for a bit. Got it deleted for a bit. Not deleted, more like restricted, where no one was able to see it. Because YouTube doesn't, because the fact she got it back means YouTube didn't exactly delete it. They just removed it from their platform. Which is pretty much deleting it from YouTube in, in some uncertain ways, you know what I mean. But it's not full deletion because she was able to get it back. What they do is they kind of just make it a 404 whenever no one's able to get to it. They keep it stored in their backups and you can get it back if you're a good person for a bit. Uh, or if you have a large corporation or a larger corporation, someone legally to represent you that can try to get it back. How'd she do it? Uh, it says, this is why everyone eventually moves uh, their, all their ASMR to Patreon or Fansly. Damn shame YouTube is like this. Amber talks. Very tragic. Lots of ASM artists are getting struck. It seems hard to follow the rules when we aren't even allowed to know what those rules are. Chiming in to confirm this was a mistake during the review process. So sorry this happened. So this was a mistake on YouTube's part. This was a mistake on YouTube's part. They deleted it when they should not have had to. It was two strikes, not three. So they deleted it when they should not have had to. Unfortunately, our team confirmed that two of your videos will not be reinstated. You can review our policy of nudity and S content to avoid this in the future. So they're saying, of course, um, thank you for working with us while this happened. So she did get her channel deleted and it's back now it should never have gone deleted because two strikes don't do that three strikes and you're out yes two strikes don't do that someone somewhere just decided to hit the delete button on that to hit the the, the remove button on that and made it so that they can no longer be seen which is not good not good at all of course and i'm very glad that imi bisu got it back michi mochi v as we all know is a very very heartwarming person a person who does a lot for her community and tries to continue doing a lot for her community and is very close-knit with them so here we have her talking a little bit about it so on my break i didn't c completely forget about you <laughs> i spared some thought or two <laughs> god why is it so hard to be genuine with you guys i don't know why i before i give you the surprise i generally want to thank you <sighs> You guys have changed my life. That's true with a lot of YouTubers, including myself. Viewers do change your life. The followers, subscribers, they do change your life in many ways. Oh, why does it sound so weird? Am I crazy? This should be easier. You know, it's just so embarrassing. Why does it feel embarrassing? I'm going to close my eyes and maybe look away. Okay. <clears throat> I, I, thank you, chat, for, for like... <laughs> she can do it. get drunk. <laughs> Listen, man, okay? I think you guys are really cool. And like you you didn't have to support me or anything but you guys do support me and i'm like whoa no way and because you guys support me now i can like take care of my health properly and now now i have like my proper meds i have my proper vitamins um i have my treatments back in order and all that cool stuff and it's like no way and that's thanks to you chat so like thank you i guess 
There you go. That's yeah. what it is. I, uh, you know what's more horrible? I practiced this. You can ask my mom. Uh, last week, I told my mom, like, okay, mom, I'm going to be honest with chat and generally thank you. Because even my mom was like, Michi, remember to say thank you to chat, it, right? Good. Yeah, ended at that. I I'm being genuine. I know I don't you sound genuine. Don't I have a hard time. <laughs> well, whatever. Wait, you know that I'm being genuine, right? Good. Okay. This is your last. Oh, shit. <laughs> chat, I want to say thank you for supporting me as much as you have and. What is wrong with you? You can't stare! Whatever. Point is thank you, I guess. Suck my f***ing balls. Guac guac. Yeah. Because I want to show, like, my appreciation. But it's, like, hard. I don't know why. I can do it when I'm drunk. Or when I'm medicated. But, like, sober? I can't. And still, like, you know, spend time with me. And... And stuff. It means a lot, you know? Because, like... You know, I'm just gonna speak very candidly, okay? Please don't sue me, anyone. <laughs> and like, please don't clip it out of context. This is supposed to be wholesome and just wholesome, okay? Nothing but love from my end. So to, don't like, Chat clip it badly. Appreciation. <laughs> Basically, this... Perhaps, maybe, in, in the past, I have streamed before. Who knew, right? I'm made up of a lot of people. Maybe someone in my body has streamed before. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways. So, one of my biggest fears at that time was like... I thought to myself, was like, oh man... Woof. You know, uh, I'm not gonna see the same faces and I'm not gonna be able to talk to the same Come people. And at that time, it wasn't like this. <laughs> can't get rid of us that easily, Michi. You're stuck with us. We're not no. going anywhere. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Let me cook. You know that, like, picture of that guy holding a pen and he's writing on fire? That's... We weren't the size we were. Like, subs and follows-wise, yes, we were, like, bigger. But not as many people showed up to, like, hang out most of the time. It was different, right? So in my head, it was like, it wasn't a small community, but it was only smaller than what it is today. And because of that, I got to, you know, hear more of people's life story and see more of the same people in chat and stuff like that. Well, you put me in a basement. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. So yeah, I, after everything, I remembered when I left, I was like, oh, it's, it's so sad. You know, it was, it was a bit sad. It was a bit harder, at least from my end, because it was like, Okay, I'm just gonna speak honestly, but this might not sound good, and I'm sorry if I say something wrong. I will apologize in advance. Uh, if you already have a bigger community, leaving a bigger community is definitely, like, harder, because that's a, a lot of people. But most of the time, you don't really know everyone, you know what I mean? At that time, it's... I remembered, like... Oh yeah, I'll, I'll mute TTS for a second. <clears throat> I'll pause I'll pause donations for a second. I remember at that time, I streamed... <laughs> the first time I ever streamed, I streamed to, like one viewer i remember this this was like long 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 that's like me too well i mean i still stream to one viewer but here she's pretty much going over you know that yes when she was in her past life when she was at the big niji in the sky uh she didn't know everybody she didn't know a lot of people and she continues going on about this um that it's different being in a large place like that a corporate place where you may not know everybody of course um some places like you know hollow live and face connect and other things even though they have larger communities they try to make it into a community idle the end etc uh nidhi sanji just sees it as the business side and it's not necessarily the, the the livers or vtubers fault that it's seen as the business side that's what's pushed to them by the agency themselves and that's kind of what michi's saying that's the way i'm saying i'm seeing it maybe that's my weird interpretation of it maybe that's my weird translation of it but it was all business during that time because that's what was being pushed to her. And now that she is able to be herself and able to be in her own community, yes, it's big. It is definitely big, but she knows a lot more people because now it's a lot closer. Now it's a lot closer knit and now she can be herself and be more personal with everyone else. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase where I like to give back to the community and give a little bit of a shout out to people who are trying to grow, people who will probably outgrow me but still i want to give that and pass that forward and pass that benefit on to others annie brews vtuber cafe says our tea is sweet our coffee is fresh come visit us and taste our best here is their uh, new outfit this is a pre-debut of their new outfit their new design their old design was this one they have become a twitch affiliate this is a little bit of the sneak peek of the green screen of their stuff and let's take a look at what they say in their about me section it's so lovely to meet you. My name is Hani, and I'm a bunny VTuber. Very 
new to gaming and only started about three years ago. I like gaming fails, struggling to click, and fun rants. Oh, I do a lot of gaming fails myself. So they also have this. This is their, their previous model here before they became the <laughs> main YouTuber. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's crazy! Ah, look at we! Ah, they go crazy! Ah, go stupid! Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh god, there we go. <laughs> That's like whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy, that, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. Talk. Not as, I'm not as fun as her when I do these things, but yeah, I always think I'm, I have bobbed and weaved enough, but then I get hit. So thank you again uh, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Annie Brew, I do hope that this helps more eyes reach your channel, and I do hope that this helps you grow, because that's why I do this, to help anyone that I can Hello. grow. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.